Hello people, it's Lee from Jarvik Outdoors. Just a quick update, because I've not been doing anything for quite a while. Um, I just wanted to... Um, I just wanted to give you an update, um, let you know I'm still uh, going to be doing quite a lot of stuff uh, this, this summer. I've been extremely busy. I hope it's not too windy here. I've been extremely busy finding myself a new home. Um, I got quite short notice that I had to move out and uh, so yeah that's been preoccupying my time uh, I'm not moving house as such I'm trying to get a, a um, um, you know like a caravan home a park home so I've been looking at them been going away uh, I had to drive to Bristol and get one the other week pick it up get excited uh, it's just been a nightmare to be honest so I've not got uh, anywhere near, I've not got out, the weather's not been the best, but I've not got out because of that really. And uh, so, still haven't tried my new Frontline XL hammock, which I'm gutted about, but uh, I should be at West Yorkshire Bushcraft next weekend. So um, I'll get that tried out. But I just thought while I'm out for a bit of a walk and a bit of a catch up, uh, I thought it'd be an ideal opportunity to um, to discuss how I got started on, on YouTube really because uh, I was one or two people have been doing videos of sort of about uh, what got them interested and uh, I've always liked wildlife I've always liked the countryside um, and I used to have quite a my weekends were preoccupied me and my dad I was very close to my dad uh, we used to go all over, we used to do a bit of shooting and uh, I lost my dad last October so sort of a bit of a grieving process and then Christmas and so here we are just after Christmas uh, you know I've looked into to different things to do to sort of fill my time in so I used to spend a lot of time with my dad, we're like best mates uh, and, and, and I just thought try and get out more you know my dad wasn't very mobile towards the end so that's what got me into, uh, first of all, I bought myself uh, these binoculars. I got myself a sort of medium range camera and uh, started going to uh, like nature reserves. I'm in uh, RSPB and I'm in uh, Yorkshire Wildlife Trust. So going there and taking pictures, I've got my camera uh, as well, other than just my phone, uh, which I should really use for filming, but uh, it seems to come out alright in my camera. Um, so yeah, I was going there, and uh, I know I just I was up at a place called North Cave Wetlands. Not if you know of that, if any of you from uh, Yorkshire way. Um, and and I thought, how about sort of staying till uh, till it got dusk? You know, everybody else has gone. So I did. Um, stayed there all night actually. I've got a camper van, and but I went for a walk. I went for a walk up through the. Uh, up through the wetlands and sure enough there was uh, Mr Foxy having a, a walk around uh, trying to find some bait I imagine sniffing around where all the birds were uh, and it was just nice to to watch him I couldn't film him I don't have a good enough camera to film in the dark um, and it was like I say it was dusk it was, it was nearly dark so uh, I couldn't get any pictures, but I sat and watched him for ages through my binoculars, and uh, and, I, and I really enjoyed it. And I thought this this is a, this is for me. So what do you do when you when you want to learn about getting uh, learn out of wild camp, etc. You know, because I wanted to get even close to nature rather than just being a camper van. So I went on YouTube, and uh, I found out about um, a few people on there, mainly uh, initially. Uh, Yorkshire Bush, uh, no, um, MCQ Bushcraft, Mike, who runs an excellent channel, tells you about getting a hammock, because that was something that I thought of getting. Uh, I wanted to get into a hammock camping, get out in the wild. Obviously watched Ray Mears, he's a big influence on me in the past. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I I watched this channel from start to finish, learnt a lot, and turned around here. Learned a lot from uh, from Mike, and uh, it really got me into gear um, to get some stuff bought, which I did. Um, I looked for a club, which uh, 
I found West Yorkshire bushcraft. I've only been once, again due to circumstance, through my dad passing, etc. Um, and then I thought I wanted to also go out for walks as well. Uh, not not just bushcraft, not just camp. You know, I'm a big lad. I need to do it in stages. I've started doing walks for about three or four miles, but eventually I'd like to to build up to go out and. Uh, to go check in as well, you know, through uh, up in Yorkshire Dales, which I absolutely love up there, and uh, into into um, you know into Cumbria and into lakes and go up there because it's lovely up there. So I, you know, started watching a lot of people on YouTube, which are doing both of them. A lad called uh, Chris at Trek Life, uh, he has some good videos out. He was one of the first people I watched who does. A little bit of, well he does walk in but he tends to sort of camp over and uh, you know do a bit of bushcrafty thing cook on his cook on his stove or make a little fire or whatever uh, so again that inspired me to go out been out a few times in the woods just, just walking around the countryside never thought about filming it at first you know um, I'd obviously watched it and I just didn't know you know whether I'd be any good at doing doing a film of it, but um, I thought I'd give it a go, and that's when I started doing a few films. Um, to um, to sort of get more of an idea of what to do, obviously I tried to expand the people who I watched on YouTube, uh, and I do actually have quite a few channels who have inspired me to 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 come out and. You know, to get active, to get uh, to get out camping, really, uh, which is what I'm going to do this year. You know, I went out two or three times last year, and that's all. Uh, you know, and uh, one of the first ones I actually watched, and again, they do a bit of walking, and they do a bit of um, camping, and that was uh, Goonie Bushcraft J. Uh, watched this channel and uh, really, really enjoyed that. Always looked good fun. Uh, Dino goes with them there's a bit of walking a bit of wild camping it was just what i was looking for you know to give me some inspiration some ideas uh, then obviously they all got together with you know paul prep nomad mate ginger bushcraft and uh steve frogmood and there's, there's loads of people who uh i can't list them all honestly i'm, I'm sorry if i don't list your name and I, I, I do watch you a lot and i'm just out and about i can't really think and, and they're just all channels that really really have inspired me to uh to get hammered, get some camping gear, and uh, and get myself out. Uh, there's a few good, few good channels as well about just walking, really. Uh, a lad called uh, I don't know his name actually. I'm I'm sorry about that. But Garn for a Ratch, uh, excellent channel. Goes up into the to the lakes all the time. You know, and that that's what I want to aspire to. I'm I'm nowhere near that yet. I'm just not fit enough. But uh, he's one of the channels which I look at and think. I'd like to like to get there, you know what I mean, in a in a year or two's time. Mark Taylor, Mark Taylor Outdoors, he does some uh, some good stuff. He knocks about with like Prep Nomad, Goonie, Frog Moon, Steve. You know, and he does some excellent walking. And and, and all these YouTube lads, to be fair, have really inspired me to uh, to make a go of it. So this year I'm gonna get my act together, um, get sorted. Um, I've still not moved on to my site yet, it's it's an ongoing thing, I need to get it pitched, to get on the pitch, the weather's bad, can't get on there, so um, that might end up interfering with next week, but I blooming hope not, because I've been really looking forward to get out and about, and uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to go next week no matter what I am, but it must, uh, I might have to have a day off work or something to try and get me, uh, get me accommodation sorted, because it's... Uh, it's doing me head in a little bit now. But, no, I just thought I'd do a quick update to let you know I've not gone off the scene. Uh, I've just been ultra busy. Um, and definitely I'm going to be doing a lot more videos in, uh, in the near future. I'll probably do one next weekend uh, when I go out to uh, West Yorkshire. It's, uh, it's, it's not the sort of place that you sort of, you know, I don't know, you, you you can camp on your own and you can 
you know, do your own thing. Or you can camp in with the with the group. You can sit in the like tent they've got. Uh, and when you're doing that, when you're sat with them, I'm not sure that they're uh, mad keen on you uh, filming. I don't know if I'm right in saying that or not. But um, to be fair, um, if I get this off, off on my own, I'll I'll get a bit of filming done, hopefully. And uh, yeah, not a lot more to say really, other than. I'm desperate to get out and about. Uh, could do with finding somewhere close to uh, where I live, really. Because uh, obviously I go to West Yorkshire Bushcraft. Uh, I'd been mentioning to some people about a guy who I used to go to his farm, do a bit of shooting when I was with my dad, getting rid of the rats and that off his farm. And he had a wood, and I was hoping to get permission there. I called him to see him last weekend to uh, to tell him about my dad, because uh, my dad used to live on their farm in a little cottage, and he was really friendly with this lad. Uh, hope, tell him about my dad, and also hoping to sort of strike up a conversation about getting somewhere to um, to get permission. If uh, there's a sign on the farm saying sold, so they've sold the farm up. So I was gutted about that, because I was sure I might have. Uh, be able to let, get to uh, get a place off this lad uh, up towards Pocklington. He, 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 he showed us into this wood when uh, when we were going up there before to do uh, a bit of shooting and that. And uh, me and my dad used to spend a bit of time in there, and it, it, it'd have been perfect. So I was absolutely gutted when I went up there and seen the sold sign. He just says he, he, he can't make a living out of the. Uh, he does the milking cows. So yeah. Um, I was gutted about that, so I'm gonna have to try and find somewhere pretty, pretty local, you know, that I can toddle off to on a weekend, get a set up, and uh, you know, try and get uh, get out a bit more often rather than go. I love West Yorkshire. I love the people there. The first time I went, they made me feel really welcome, and uh, I, I want to go. It's probably sorry about that. Uh, it's probably um, oh, blooming fun. Hang on a sec, it's gone loose. It's it's about I mean, it's at Keithley, which is 40, 50 miles from where I live. So it's a good old trek, you know, which it's only once a month, so I don't mind doing it, but I need somewhere local so I can get out and, and get uh, you know, this weekend I've done nothing. Well, well I'm not saying I've done nothing. I haven't been out. Um, which I'd like to have gone out here yeah, because I've been busy moving more stuff into my van even though it's in the yard blah de blah uh, getting it prepared um, you know for when it does get put on its site um, so I've been doing that and also I wouldn't have really had anywhere to go um, because the place that I went to before to do a few of my view videos like setting up the hammock and that, you know, you, I can't really sleep up there. It's uh, it's a common land. It's it's, but it's the army owned and the army use it for training exercises. And it's not the best to stay there, but uh, I'm gonna. Uh, I've got a few options. I've got a few. Uh, I've got a few things that I'm gonna look into to uh, to try and get somewhere in the new future. So you know, I can get out and get practicing a bit more. Get a few. Uh, uh, get a few, you know. I don't know about uh, solo camps just yet. I am new to it. I don't mind admitting, you know, I'm a novice. Um, hence why I'm, you know, looking forward to going to West Yorkshire Bushcraft because they teach you quite a lot about, uh, you know, doing bushcraft safely, and uh, that's something that obviously I want to want to learn to do. So. So yeah, look, I'm rambling a bit now, but uh, just a quick update, just a, a few shout outs for people that have got me on on track to uh, have a have a camp out, you know, and uh, just to let you know that I haven't gone off the scene. Oh, I just want to say as well, sorry, one of the things that I'm trying to remember, because I haven't got any of this down, 
I've seen my subscribers uh, going up and up, which uh, I, don't, I really appreciate, you know, uh, just on the, the few videos that I've done. That is another reason, actually, why I came out um, today, just to have a conversation, just to say thank you very much for your, for your, you know, subscribing to my channel. I hope to have a lot more material for you coming out uh, this year, as we've just been discussing. Uh, it's really appreciated. Uh, if you've got a channel yourself, have subscribed back. I'll watch. Like I said, I'm a novice. I'm up for for learning and uh, yeah. So really appreciate that. Um, I've got a couple of gifts at home which I'm gonna give away. Not yet. Probably gonna wait till I get up to maybe 100 subscribers. Then I'm gonna do a bit of a giveaway. I've got a couple of items. Might give them away together. Might split them. I don't know. But um. But we'll see, but it's, yeah, um, once I get up to 100 subscribers, I don't know what I'm going to do yet even, but uh, I've got a bit of a giveaway planned, so, you know, if you uh, if you watch my video and you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe, you never know, you might, might win a couple of goodies. Right, I'm going to finish it there, because I've been going on, believe it or not, for 16 minutes, and uh, you're probably bored stupid now. But uh, thanks very much if you've watched this video, and... Uh, look forward to uh, some more videos coming out in the near future okay i'll uh, let you go thank you very much bye now